guys, welcome back to Food Aspire Home and Garden. Guess what we're doing? We're drilling holes in the ceiling. Yep, I'm drilling holes in the ceiling. I know, it's for lights. And I'm putting like lots of them. I think I did like 12 of them and I'm thinking about doing more. Um, I ran into a couple problems. I actually drilled a hole in the ceiling and actually two holes in the ceiling that were next rafters. Apparently my whole suspicion of this, the rafters and everything being in the wrong spot and not at measurements all messed up in this house are actually correct. So um, I basically drilled 12 holes um, in the past couple weekends. Um, I wanted to drill more holes, but um, I can't because there is rafters in my way so there's not much I can do about that um, I also um, tried to take down one more uh, stud out of my wall so now I am left with some hanging wires and I'm okay with it I have to um, one of these days take the power off the grid and just go ahead and wire those couple of lights um, where they need to go and extend some uh, electrical stuff. One of these days I am going to dry wall the rest of it. I think that's what I plan on doing is just make a big huge hole in the in the wall and that's what I'm doing too. So I actually figured out that the pot lights that I got are actually pretty cool. If there is a rafter in the way you can actually turn them and I found that after I plastered over the wall or the ceiling. So I'm gonna have to fix that but it's no big deal. I can fix it. It's no it's really not that big of a deal. I figured out how to do the little pattern on the ceiling too so I'm really not that mad about it um if I can which I don't know it's probably gonna look funky but the measurements between all the pot lights on the ceiling on the roof well there's a lot of problems with it and I explained it kind of at the end so I am sitting here and I'm thinking about it a day later after I've done the whole thing and I might be able to fix it. So we'll see if I have an idea by next weekend or not. So basically this weekend I just drilled a bunch of holes so that I can know where I need to go. And then I put little flags up inside the holes too so that I could see where to go um, when I'm up in the attic. And that way I can see where these flags are. Um, there is no light in the attic except for whatever daylight is coming through the vents and that is it. One of the other things that I might have to do is go ahead and draw another hole and do some more electrical over on the other side of the house. Not just where the living room is but in my bedroom because my bedroom also doesn't have a light in there which doesn't make any sense. They basically wanted me to have a bunch of lamps and that was it. I mean, not really me, but the person who ever wanted to live here. So I think that was a big thing in the 80s at one point. I, it's like early 80s, 70s, 70s, and 50, usually 50s wanted to do more of that kind of stuff. But whatever. Um, so I am going to uh, fix that part of things. Um, I did get a old-fashioned copper light that technically I could use that instead if I really wanted to. Um, it's one of the ones that actually hangs and uh, you can plug it in. But I think instead of doing that, I think I'm really gonna get a new like light fixture. I think I'm gonna get a fan one. So then there can be a fan in that room too, like when it gets hot because it's really up next to a hot room and stuff. But anyway, um, we'll get to that later. Um, I basically did 12 holes and that's one whole box of lights. And the rest of the lights, um, well, I'm not really worried about it right now because I think that uh, I have another box of 12 that I had ordered off of eBay that I found that are exactly the same that I had gotten off of Facebook. 
and they were all cheap guys they weren't that much i think i've spent a hundred bucks in lights so far which is not that much when a box of maybe one of those 12 ones is like 200 bucks so i don't know like really don't think that i spent all that much money compared to what it could have been um i did also decide to kind of drill my hole where my fan is to start to get that all wired i think i'm probably gonna figure out how i can wire the fan in my living room and move it because it's not centered and you know that's okay because like maybe it is centered but it's too close to that wall i was also thinking that maybe i should wire some more lights like up close next to um where all of those shelves are um or that pantry is i was thinking maybe i should put one two three four of them or three of them like i have three over here and then just wire them to um the fan light but i don't know if i'm going to do that we'll have to see what happens because who knows like all these lights could cause my whole entire um house to explode anyway with the breakers because um technically i have a wiring issue and um yeah so even like the amount of wiring that i do have on may not even work anyway because i need a new electrical box so um yeah we're gonna see how that works out too i have one other outlet uh that i need to wire too but i think maybe i might let that for the professionals because it needs a wire or a whole thing by itself and yeah that's gonna be a big thing too so anyway i just did some touch up on my wall kind of shaved it off a little bit more um now you can really see it's way open now uh, i'm gonna do something really cool to the one little post that's um still there which is gonna look awesome uh so stay tuned for that eventually but that's gonna have to wait until after i do drywall and i have to save up money for that i think after not this time but next weekend um either we're gonna wire up in the attic or we might take a break and do painting instead that way you guys don't get too bored i don't know leave a comment down below if you're bored of all this stuff already um but uh, it's a lot to do for one person that's why i keep going back and forth with doing the same stuff over and over again um and if you didn't know there's a couple tricks to doing lights in the attic and or lights and in general uh do you see the cooking pan that i have up there i don't know there's probably gonna be a comment about it but that catches like all the dust even though i am really dusty and i have junk all over me at one point in time i did get bored of the pan because it is actually needing to um like it's almost breaking in a way but it does collect a lot of it um but the pan really worked out really well to go over the screw gun so that it collected most of the dirt um so that was really awesome uh idea i got that one from youtube and then i also got the flags the flags are actually um what are they they're the flags that you put in to show where all of the um like plumbing stuff is outside for your sprinklers well i'm actually considering you kind of putting those flags out there again just as a permanent fixture because people keep running into my yard and destroying one of my uh things i also or one of my um, pipes and i constantly constantly have to redo it and it's always the same person who does it so i try not to have that person come into my house and park there anymore because she's really freaking annoying anyway um but she does it like every single freaking time she, there is no sidewalks and stuff but anyway they were i'm off on a tangent and going somewhere else but anyway so the flags are really cool because then i can get up in the attic and when i'm wiring up in the attic i can go ahead and go to those specific areas and just those areas are going to be wired now i think you have to put the electrical underneath the insulation is how that works so i have to figure out how to roll all that insulation up then roll all back 
I'm kind of debating if I should just go ahead and just do the other room um, where my bedroom is uh, right now because the thing about it is is that if I don't do my bedroom right now um, we're gonna have like an issue because then I'm gonna have to go back up there and roll and I'm already like in the mood right now to do it so I might as well just like throw in another hole um, I'm looking at one of my other holes right now um, that was already here and it's pretty tiny so I don't know what the standard hole size is um, for electrical these ones are six inch I think because that's what the pot lights are the other one has to be at least four because it is really tiny so um I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do it because I really don't want to crawl all the way over there but somehow I need to make that electrical go just to the next hole um beside it to do a fan and some other light stuff so once I figure that one out which means that I probably have to take the light off just to figure that out which means lots of light over there but in the end it might be okay because then I have all these 12 pot lights right that are already going to be ready to go so depending on what I decide on that for next weekend um might decide whether or not I do my electrical right away because I'm tired of kind of being dirty all the time but also I'm kind of used to it with all those stuff all over me um might determine whether or not I do that first or paint first because I do want to take us uh to go get a bunch of paint because I need to do the ceiling and stuff because we're getting down to be really close to being done with um the wiring part I think it will be one or two more times and to one or two more weekends and I probably should be done if I'm on track but then like before I do painting there's going to be a bunch of stuff too um I do need like at least one or two sheets I probably think I could get away with one sheet of drywall for that opening um I don't know because like there's a bunch of other stuff I have to get to with that opening so I may have to postpone that until uh YouTube starts paying me and then maybe I could do some more or just get a little bit out of time um because man guys this is a lot of work paint is less expensive than drywall is I don't know how much a sheet of drywall costs 14 bucks or something I don't know but anyway uh, maybe more 20 I don't know but anyway I'm thinking paint first before then um but then again I'm thinking about cabinets first before I start painting other things so um that might be the next project um after this or I don't know because I have to do a bunch of spackling too um and covering a bunch of holes and stuff um because I'm still not finished with the spackle from the holes uh one of the um holes that i covered up the other day um i have to fix that one again um because it keeps one coming out and i think i need a drywall screw in that one um the design so the design is really easy to do so the design is really easy to do and i'll show you on one of my uh, videos on how to do that so uh stay tuned for also um kind of like some of the recap stuff i didn't show you all drilling the whole entire thing about the holes because i thought it would be kind of boring so i kind of did a mixture of things this time so you guys could uh see uh more stuff otherwise it'd just be like me drawing holes in the whole entire ceiling and that could get boring especially since i'm not done with the wiring yet so uh there's more to come so stay tuned here um after uh this whole segment
give up my appetite Don't leave me here high and dry
give up my appetite Don't leave me here high and dry What I'm gonna do with kitchen yet as far as light wall is but I got 12 of them right here I wanted to do another one right here see how the speakers are like all in alignment and there's the the speakers and then the lights I was gonna put another row right here all the way down and then there would have been uh six across on the ceiling but i can't do that because there's a beam right here i think it is somewhere over here there's a beam right there there's a beam right there see the holes right there so if I moved it over, I don't know, it'd look wonky and funky. So I don't know, guys, what to do because I have one, two, three, four, five, six holes in my ceiling, which it looks really good. But I want to put another row and I have to fix this. It keeps wanting to coming out of the ceiling. Where is it? Right there. I have to put a drywall screw in that one. Otherwise, it's not going to stay up. But anyway, sorry. Got distracted. So I think I like this. See? Three. Three. And then I was going to put three right here. But I can't because there's be something in the way. So there's something in the way on the way on this one. So... I guess I can move it over a little bit. I don't know how far I can move that over, but maybe I'll just mess with it and see how far I can move it over because here's the problem. Here's that, and then you follow it all the way back, and it's in alignment with the other one. So it would mean that there would be a little bit off, now, if I come over here to where that is, this end one, and technically this is where the couch is right here. See the couch? And I wanna put a sectional going this way across the window. It would look good if the lights could come this way, some more lights this way. But if I do that up here in the roof, it's shorter really short 
um, and it's really hard to get over here and bend down and get in here. So I know they got this one in there somehow and that's nice, that's good. I could seemingly put another extra one off of that one, but then it's gonna be kind of close to this one. And it might look kind of odd not having a, um, with measurements and stuff, not having a light actually right here in the middle of where the couch goes. So I don't know. I could do it where that dot is, but then it's really close and the measurements don't line up. Um, and they don't line up with, they'd line up with that though. So I don't know. I could do that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can give you a better view on this or not. Let's see. Ah, uh, show bad. No show bad. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Stop. Show bad. Stop. Ow. Ow. Hey. Stop. So. Ow! Stop. Go lay down. Nishoba, go lay down right now. Go lay down right now. Go. Sit. He's freaking out because I'm laying on the floor. But anyway, see what it looks like with just the four, or I mean six. That's what it looks like. So I don't know. what to do it would look really good if we could put another three over on one of the sides but I don't think that that's possible don't lick me got yuckies on me stop um so yeah oh no oh no Technically, it would look pretty good, probably, if we could stick another row, like, right here. But. And then we could play tic-tac-toe on the, on the ceiling, which might be kind of fun. But, see, like, here's the, here's where that is these ones are off. oh i think that's messed up they're a little slightly off but i did my best what can i say i could try to put that next row like a little bit over here but we're like getting into where the rafters are um i kind of want to get a hard hat before i go up into the attic because i'm afraid i'm gonna hit my head I make myself bleed from all the nails that are in the roof. So, I don't know. I need some opinions. I need some opinions. might even go like I could put one in the middle there like one right here and 
then I might be able to put another one in the middle right there. And I figured out a cool trick if you're cl too close to the beam, which I wish I would have known that before I cut out that one over there because it would have saved me from cutting that one out. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching today's Who Just Fire Home and Garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a lot of drilling. I did not wire today at all. All I did was cut holes and fix that over there. But now it's a big open space, which is really nice and I really like it. And so, stop, Kakai, stop! So, Kakai says goodbye too, and he's giving me a kiss. And Toby is also saying bye bye because it is. 53 in the afternoon and it is time to eat for them because they are going nuts and crazy don't lick me it's yucky so i'll see you next time on for Despair home and garden i hope you guys enjoyed this one um sorry it was a bunch of cutting and thank you for subscribing thank you for um hitting the notification bells thank you for thumbs ups and keep it going guys and we'll see you next time i hope you guys inspired you something <laughs> wonderful in your life no matter what it is sorry the dogs are licking me stop <laughs> all right we'll see you next time have a wonderful rest of your weekend stop!